Cargo from 2017. Uh, this was a suggestion from Ray McGuff, by the way. He said, oh, God. He said, hey, man, if you want a really good movie to watch, check out Cargo from 2017. Ray McGuff yeah. has a new book out. <laughs> And I'm not going to have him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, this movie. It's is, a very. Uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Emo. Very emo title. What's oh, the yeah. title? Um, a Crimson uh, Autumn. God, he would have killed me if I didn't remember that. I bought Crimson it. Autumn. Oh, did you? I got it on my bookshelf. He ain't got to read it you either. Read he it. ain't got to read it either, Randy. I haven't read it yet. Um. Cargo from 2017, uh, and after an epidem- epidemic spreads all over Australia, a father searches for someone willing to protect his daughter. Directed by Ben Howling and Yolanda Romke. Written by Yolanda Romke. <laughs> 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 Do you have any additional thoughts on this uh, or notes, Jason? Uh, yeah, I got a tagline. He is her only hope and her greatest threats. This is, I think this is a Netflix original. Um, and I don't believe there are any scheduled releases on yeah. like Blu-ray or anything. This, uh, it, it may, you know, I really got to start looking into these things a little bit more before I select them. You had some doozies this time. I'm around. really just picking sad things or really bad things. It's all right. Um, yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to ask. A horror you. can have feelings in it. I wanted to I don't ask want you. It, a, though. I want fun. I want tear have fun. jerkers. You said this one. Almost. I thought he was going to eat the baby. I I, was gonna I wanted to ask you if you've been okay lately after watching yeah. this. Like, um, are you, everything okay? This movie starts... Are you, are you feeling feelings <laughs> these days? Do you need I'm to talk really about gonna, anything? I'm going He's crying. He's been a lot of time crying. This one, uh, this one really just tugs at your heartstrings. <laughs> uh, basically, uh. this dude, uh, his wife gets bitten uh, by a zombie. And then he gets bitten by her, and then he has to carry this baby around uh, and figure out what the fuck he's going to do. Australian post-apocalyptic uh, Yeah, And this guy's thriller. a hobbit, right? Was he a hobbit? He, he was Bilbo in the Hobbit movies. He was not in The Lord of the Rings. Oh. He's also Watson in the BBC Sherlock with Benedict okay. Cumberbatch, All which right. is a great series. Um, I like him. He's a good actor. Yes. Yeah, he's in the Marvel universe too aren't they all aren't they all anymore um st- this movie starts out depressing and maintains a steady sadness uh, throughout not to cut you off but i'm going to he's also jim in the british office oh yep. that's true that's where i saw him out. yeah he's good i like him yeah, he's, he's good and he, he does a really good job in this martin freeman yeah th- so is this his is his name martin freeman does a good job this is his <laughs> got it right here <laughs> <laughs> wrote down it's right in my note for word <laughs> so this is <laughs> I really am. I believe it. <laughs> well, it does. That's a, that should be what we hold if it we up get to shirts, the camera, Jason. If we get shirts made, you got a camera. Right there. Let Martin, see it. Martin Freeman did a good <laughs> job. Uh, um, so this is a zombie movie. But did anybody catch why the zombies are sticking their heads in the ground? Was that mentioned? Why that was a thing? Because. No, but I liked it. Yeah. I mean, that was something different. It's different. Uh, yeah, I, I saw a few things. In this one, no, I mean, it's not, they're zombies, zombies are zombies. But yeah, I saw Maybe someone can explain that for us. I, I saw a few things in this that I hadn't, the kid cutting his hand, rubbing it on the tree. Yeah, that, that was a, a, I believe that was a female, though. It was, it was, yeah, she's, she's a girl. She's got a bowl haircut. She's a girl. Yeah. I didn't say, did I say, what I say? You said he. he. Oh, whatever. Uh, yep. The, the opposite of You're she. welcome, community. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Just uh, uh, there were a few things like that. I guess I hadn't seen some uh, uh, I concepts, practical ideas that just is like I haven't really noticed that in a zombie movie before. That's something that would be like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's that's a smart thing to I do. I thought they were gonna like lighten it up a little bit when he finally finds the uh, that woman and the dude that's you know uh, the jerk. Yeah. Uh, he looks I had like, no expectation of this lightning <laughs> lightning up ever. <laughs> well, he, I, I thought, oh well, at least there's a girl there that's gonna take care of this baby. That dude's a crazy Steve Bannon looking motherfucker. But uh, yeah, that ray of light snuffed out forty minutes, and she just kills her. And then uh, the the movie does have a great ending. 
uh, I loved how it ended. Um, it should probably it should probably win an award for something. It was really well done. <laughs> 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 right? No, no yeah. like no, not oh, like yeah. not like an Oscar. <laughs> Not like an Oscar, but did it they, should win something. Did they give out good job awards? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Martin Freeman could get one of those. He does a good job. <laughs> on, a per- uh, uh, on a personal uh, scale, I give it a five because I don't like films to manipulate my feelings like this. That's uh, stupid. Uh, you cried. Like, utilizing the love of my own children. Someone sturdy emotions you. I don't want to be manipulated. This was the Marley and me of, of zombie <laughs> movies. This was the Marley and me of zombie movies, but uh, yeah, it's totally calculated. It took me three. I don't, I don't want to be manipulated. <laughs> it took me three viewings to get through this. It took me three separate times of starting the movie up. My wife comes in at one point uh, during the last installment, and she's like, "Are you still watching this shit?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know, it's sad." <laughs> but what did you think about it, uh, fellows? Go ahead, Jason. Uh, well, this uh, this I believe this was a uh, short film first. So I think it started out a short film, and then he turned it into uh, this it's feature. A little like, sad then. Um, it's the zo- it's your zombie movie. That's not so much about the zombies. They're just kind of in the background. Um, if you're like if you're looking if you're a zombie lover, like if you like the Dawn of the Dead remake and Twenty Eight Days Later, you're expecting. Anything like that, you're, you're going to be disappointed. And I feel it was a little long. Yeah. Like, it could have been cut. What, what is it? It's an hour and 45 minutes, so yeah. I, it could have been cut 15, 20 minutes easy. Well, that's just walking, but that's traditional with them Lord of the Rings style films. Yeah, it was a journey, so you yeah. got to have some walking. I, I, I had that, but uh, I'm sometimes unsure on these. The point of this movie obviously wasn't to be... Uh, a, a fast paced No, it is zombie. a sl- slow burner. I, I Emotional. Mean, yeah, it's a it's heavy. Uh, very cinematic. Heavy, heavy, heavy drama. So, uh, if if you're into that stuff, you might not feel the length works against it. Um, There's a lot of a lot of beautiful, be- the beautiful sky. Cinematic con- yeah. contrasts with the depression. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> something uh, something else I want to add too is, uh, what was that? The Burrowers. Uh, I was impressed with how good that sounded on my home theater. This movie, the sound design in this movie, this movie sounds great too. So if you if, you, if you're able to watch it like like that, crank that volume up. And the story's good. The story's good. Is, the acting's good. Well What'd you rate it? Uh, I gave it a seven. Yeah, I'm I'm there with Jason for all. This is a really well made movie. Um, heavier and more drama than what I've been uh, what I've been wanting to watch lately. But Frank has been picking those, and so I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge them on what they are. This is a really well made movie. It's just you want to go in to watch characters and drama in life or death situations, not just for the character, but for people they care about. And we are agreeing a lot lately, Jared. So I. I I threw I'm a, liking it. I threw a seven on this. Um, Look little at that. Bit, Look at that. Little bit faster pace. I think you could. Uh, I think I'd have even gave it an eight if you'd have bumped the pace up. Um, because it's it's I other than it being just me saying things that I'm not huge on watching lately, like the heavy drama and the slow. Everything this movie does, it does great. And another cool thing. I th- kind of maybe separates it from other zombie movies is this once you get bit they've got it figured out to where you have what's a 48 hours yeah. and you have right. a, like a a kit a thing <laughs> that you can like I, it's there to commit suicide right yeah. like you can kill yourself yeah. before you change so but yeah it's it's directed great it looks great martin freeman does a good job <laughs> i mean it job. just every, everything's really good in it so if you want something heavy and to feel feelings but also want a few zombies around. There you go. Says it. Or uh, you got a reading Rainbow of Death? What's going on? Um, Frank, yes. Did you rate this? Oh yeah, I gave it a five. Uh, oh, that's right. Because because yeah. of be the overbearing manipulated. sadness, I don't want to be. A good, fine film, gentlemen. Uh, fine job. Good yeah. job. Good job. Yes. Good to, job. 
<laughs> Netflix Freeman. is doing some good things. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm happy. 